knife the watermelon. Nice, your fruit killing skills are remarkable. Switch it to your pistol, it's faster than reloading. Come 
Welcome everybody to today's live stream with Elliot Knight, aka the man himself, Gaz. Uh, whenever I mention Gaz, I, I can't help but say, Knife the Watermelon. Nice! Your fruit killer skills are remarkable. But that doesn't apply here. How are we all? Great to see you all in here. I already see a lot of legends in the chat. We're talking about Ghost Mario. Bravo 6. Going dark. Isaiah. Evan. Spider-Man. Mini. Fethi. J-Gang. Echo. Jericho. Urk. Yorker? Tell me if I got that right. Dream, Sean, who cares? A legend of a mod in here. Dark Viking, you're broken. Hey, I, I, I was going through the Modern Warfare 2019 campaign. Whoa, that, is that audio a bit loud? Um, I was going through the Modern Warfare 2019 campaign and... Uh, he says it more than once, you're broken. I thought it was just the opening, uh, one of those opening missions, but it's actually a couple of times he says it. Um, dog boy, how are you, brother? Great to see you, man. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> Love it. Dan, are you playing the new God of War? I will be playing it, yeah, tonight. In about uh, 12 hours from now. I'll be getting my hands on that and... Um, should be a lot of fun. I've heard rave reviews. So hopefully some of that cast uh, will we'll chat. That would be great. There's a lot of great actors in that one. Evan, I'm doing well. Shock and awe. That's it. Shock and awe. Benny Boy, Dutch. Sprite King, Thomas. Destroyer Gaming, another sexy mod in here, hey? This guy looks pretty hot, not gonna <laughs> You talking about me or Gaz, hey? Uh, uh, yo, Dan, if Gaz is late, he must be hanging from a bloody rope. That's right. Nah, he'll be here any second, guys. If you've got any questions, get them ready. This is an exclusive one-on-one chat. He won't be, from my knowledge, won't be doing another one with another sort of YouTuber. So um, we are very privileged to have him on. And he's actually, um, you know, we've been we've been chatting, but I've wanted him on for a long time. Back when I um, interviewed Barry, Captain Price, Barry Sloan, a year or so ago. Um, so it's finally good to, to sit down and chat with him. Should be a really fun conversation. Yeah, Dream, all is well. Hope the same for you, Big Man. Ghost and Soap, yeah. So there was a family emergency with Neil. So we had to postpone that one. Uh, hopefully happening this week. If not this week, the next week, I would say. Neil's told me. Guys, Elliot is here. He's ready to go. The question is, are you ready? I need a one in the chat, and we'll get this one started. Northern Nerdcast, how are you, man? Guys, make sure you subscribe to this legend, Northern Nerdcast. Also does some great interviews. Valeria interview, I'd love to, Sean. I'd love to. Ambient Cinematics, great channel, beautiful music. Make sure you subscribe to him, too. All right. 
Let's get this going, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Elliot Knight. Please welcome to the stage, Elliot Knight. And the loading immensity. Hey, Elliot, we are live. Man, you can hear me all good? Yeah. Can... How are you doing? Hey, what's this background? This looks phenomenal. Listen, thank you. This is a, it's a fake background. No, it's actually not. It's real. It's mad, isn't it? Where this are, is my, are you? This even... is my undisclosed location city background. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that looks fantastic. It looks a bit like it's not Melbourne. bad, is it? No, beautiful. I wish. Yeah, that would be fun. How are you? I'm good, man. Great to great to finally meet you and have you on the show. How have you been? How's it all been? Yeah, I've been great. It's been great. I'm thrilled that uh, I get to chat to you. I appreciate you making the time for this. I know you've been uh, you've been getting us all involved, which is awesome to see the guys talking about this. So happy to join the crowd and yeah. the fun. How how's it all been? How's the reception been for this one? Because I know you've been you've been working on this character since uh, what. 2018 2017 now 2017 for me yeah yeah it's been mad dude you know it's been uh it's been amazing the the game's breaking records for the franchise which is so cool Mm. i know everyone who's been working on it for years has been really excited it's always cool for us to see it you know go out to the world and uh and be loved and liked and a couple people not loved naturally how it is overwhelmingly positive so i'm thrilled it's been really awesome it's been really cool most of the negatives though are on the are on the multiplayer side campaign everyone seems to just not love responsible it. yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> did my job thrilled no it's because you know this is what's so cool about the game right i know there's so much passion about the gameplay itself like most games but yeah it's really awesome to be part of a game that has such strong love and legacy for the campaign and the characters like you don't get to do that every day in this kind of stuff, you know. So, yeah, a lot of one for one uh, <laughs> excitement and fun out there, and it's dope to be a part of that. And a lot of uh, Rog or I, Captain or Sir, or in this one. Yeah, there's, you know, there's a few words that you said about a million times, and you never think about <laughs> it again. And then two years goes by, and yeah, a lot of Rog and a lot of uh, yes, boss. In fact, <laughs> me and. Me and Barry, um, who's a Captain Price, we laugh a lot because um, <laughs> throughout the couple games, especially the first one, it's like Kyle was, um, I don't know, it's like he was all his uh, errand runner, which is so funny. It's like his assistant. So whenever oh, we do, I would say that. Not so much in the game, but in between whenever yeah. we're rehearsing. Oh, Barry's okay. all, get me a tea. And I'm like, yes, Barry. <laughs> Constantly. <laughs> Gotta love it. How's that relationship with you and, and Barry unfolded over the years? Because it, it sort of resonates on screen for me anyway. The, the camaraderie that you two have just sort of resonates for me. Is that something that's that translated from off to on? Yeah, man. Barry's awesome. Uh, I love him. I'm pretty sure it's mutual too. We have a really good time. We all have a really good time when we get into the studio and we're making the game with the guys and we're back with, with Jeff and with Brian. Um, and uh, I posted a thing earlier. I said, we have a lot more fun than it looks like we do in the game. There's not a lot of room for laughs and smiles in the game. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when we're in there, when we're doing it, we have a blast, man. Everyone loves being a part of it. It's really nice to come back a couple of years later and, you know, bring these characters back to life again and, and bring their new stories to life. Yeah. And yeah, naturally, a lot of Gaz's missions are, are with Price. So I'm working with Barry almost every time I'm in. And uh, it it's so fun. I can't imagine anyone being a better price, to be honest. And I, I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. He's uh, it's a good duo. It's a good duo. I'll be happy if we get to keep doing it for a bit. And how does it work? How does it work with Laswell? Because with with Rye, I believe her name is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does it, is she there with you on the set, or is that done after the fact? Some of those scenes with her, because there's some great yeah. dialogue there with you three. Yeah, Rhea's amazing too. I love her. It's a great question because it's never always the same. I think it depends on just our availability, actors-wise. If we're all like in the same place, we can do it. Um, So ideally, yeah, we're all together. But there are moments where if someone isn't available, there are times when, um, let's see, what's an example? Uh, Gilly Suits, for example. Uh, That's one with the three of us, right? Yeah, yeah. 
when we actually shot that, uh, it was Rhea and myself were in the room shooting it. Barry actually wasn't available at that time to shoot. So there was someone in a full mocap suit standing in for him next to me. <laughs> and then Barry's voice gets laid in afterwards when he can do it. So if someone can't be around, we'll figure it out that way and someone fills in physically. Um, yeah, right. A lot of the time, Barry and I are there in person. Uh, yeah. Rhea's normally there with us too, but you know, if it's over comms or something like that, if she doesn't physically need to be there, um, it might not be necessary. But they'll try and get the levels together on days when we're all together because they know that that's when the best dynamics and energy come out of it yeah and uh, yeah the, it was fun to explore that too in the, in that mission as well to get some of the banter in there between them and some of the fun stuff you know that was a cool thing they added this year there's a lot dope. of banter this year is that something that they did on obviously did on purpose right yeah man yeah i think they really wanted to bring some of the heart to it you know mm. there's such a heart to one for one there's so much love and excitement for um for soap and ghost to get into the game too and i think Naturally, we were establishing this reboot of Modern Warfare in 2019, right? Yep. And that obviously went really well. And I think getting a lot of that groundwork out of the way, it gives us room to actually have some play within the seriousness of what we're doing as well. Because, you know, the reality is these guys or the guys that we're in a fictional universe representing, it isn't all tough and serious all the time. Like they're people, nah. they do fun and it's their brothers and sisters, like they're together all the time. And they go back and they have all these stories. So it was, um, it was. Uh, I thought it was a really clever way of weaving into the action, you know, what it would be like, especially for them too, and 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 bring the audience in, the players into what their dynamic is. And they do actually have a lot of fun. We make yeah. way more jokes on set than happen in the game. <laughs> way more. Maybe there'll be more if there's a next time. We'll see. Well, you got to keep posting those behind the scenes, man. They're they're really great. The uh, I laughed at the one where you're sort of. You know, dangling from the helicopter, you're dangling from a chair from behind. <laughs> I think, are they capturing your facial capture there or is that just voice? Uh, no, that, so for me, as Gaz, who's one of the player characters, when you're in mission, in gameplay, they don't need face capture. So they'll just get the voice. But for me, you know, I mean, for all of us, we want to make it sound as authentic as possible whenever we can. And some things like explosions, you, you just have to use your imagination. That felt yeah. like a rare opportunity, though. Uh, we were going to do it just standing up as normal. And I said to Jeff, I was like, do you have that weird seat that everyone's rolling around on? He's like, yeah. I'm like, just give me that for a second because there's nothing to actually hang from from the ceiling. I'm like, you know, it's got, if I'm just talking to you like this and then if I'm upside down hanging and like swinging around, it's going to sound a lot different. Yeah. So let's try a flavor of that in there. And um, yeah, it's... Uh, it, it was fun. In fact, that um, that Nick I'm hanging from a bloody rope line, um, yeah. I actually loved and We were burst out laughing after the first time I did that. Like, this is mad, but so much fun. Oh, man. That, that, everyone loves that scene, that whole sequence. It's a, it's a really great little gameplay sequence. Have you had a chance to play the game at all yet? I wish. I would. <laughs> Last time, I was straight on it as soon as it released. I've yeah. been... Uh, Busy this time. I don't actually have my um my console with me, but as soon as I do, yeah, yeah, I have to get on it because you know the other thing about us making the game is because we're not always together, we only really know the parts of the story that we're involved in that our characters are in, and a lot of the other scenes, unless you know the guys have showed us something towards the end, we don't actually know how the full story plays out through performance and gameplay. Um, to weave it together through actually being a part of the levels is obviously so different. Yeah. So I, will be, yeah, I'll be doing that as soon as I get back, and um, I'll be doing it terribly, I'm sure, but I will, I'll try anyway. How did you, how did you go with 2019? Did you end up finishing that in the end? I or? did finish that. Yeah, yeah I did. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how long it took me, but yes, I did. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. But mainly it's like, you know, my mates who love the game already and it's I mean it's so cool for me that I'm that I'm in it. Every time I get to come into work I love it. It's such a dream. And for them it's really fun too. So what I'm I'm aiming to do is get on my uh, my Warzone game when the time is right and uh, have a little uh, gaz off. And ho someone. hopefully Gaz is an operator, hey? Hey, let hopefully <laughs> we can always hope. You know what my answer would be every time. It should be everywhere. So yeah. I, People have been, I saw people today were asking about that. And, you know, uh, all I can say is anything in the future from this point, yeah. for me, it's classified. <laughs> uh, I may or may not know a couple things. So uh, stay tuned. 
I can't wait to see where the story goes because obviously now we've set up Shepherd, we've got and we've got Makarov as well. I mean, there's yeah. a lot there. Yeah, big legacy characters as well. I know, and a great little tag scene at the end for anyone who did complete the campaign and then check back in to see that. Uh, yeah. yeah, a lot to be excited about. Mm. And uh, I have to give a shout out to Glenn to Glenn Morshaw who plays General Shepherd. Love he? that oh. guy. Yeah. Amazing, and we got to um, we were in Amsterdam uh, for press for the game, and I got to be with him to do the interviews in the media. And uh, he is a, a fantastic actor, a great mm. guy, and also a little trivia he dropped that I didn't know. He has played a military character more times in different projects than any other actor in history. <laughs> Which is insane. Oh my God. Cut. Isn't that mad? Wow. He just dropped that in the chat. I was like, oh, cool. I haven't oh done anything, my right? God. Yeah, man. Amazing. Amazing. Wow. I'm going to have to check his IMDb after this one. Yeah, he's <laughs> a power. Power. He is. And so Shit. good. And, you know, that's someone else who, um, I forget the level name, but there's a scene um, where Gaz and Price uh, are on a. Uh, like a video call to to Shepard. Yeah, the, yeah, great scene. The, yeah, yeah, the trunk of the car, and um, Glenn was actually there with us that day, even oh. though he wasn't physically in the scene. He was stood off to the side, and uh, that man's voice, like the power of it, and mm. it, he's so good. I mean, I'm glad that he was a part of it. Just amazing to have him bringing him to life. You know who I also was happy to see a, a fellow yeah. Aussie of mine. I think, yeah. I think you know her. Uh, I think I do. <laughs> Farrah Claudia. Um, yeah, I got to say, she, um, you two have a, have a great relationship, don't you? On and off. Yeah, yeah, I love Claudia. She's awesome. We, uh, we maybe have, we obviously we had a lot more to do in the 2019 Modern Warfare, but yeah, very. We have a lot of fun when we're together. Maybe too much. Um, maybe too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe <laughs> more of our job to stay focused, but no, she's amazing. And I've got to say, like, shout out to her too, because not only is it so fun to work with her, but she has a lot of extra things to do. You know, she has yeah, extra yeah. dialect and accents, and she's just in and out. And um, yeah, incredible actor as well. Love Claudia. Don't don't hate me, but I I took your story. So you know how you two were. Um... You were arm wrestling. I took I took that footage, put it onto TikTok, and it's now sitting at seven hundred thousand views. So no, <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> for real, it is. Yeah, yeah, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Hey, she's very strong for the record. It wasn't. Uh, yeah, it was a real. I was really trying. <laughs> I was really trying. She's very strong. And then someone's like, "Is that Homelander in the background?" <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. I'll leave that to your imagination. Mate, you, I, when are you joining the boys? Because you, you're hanging with all of them. I mean, they've got to give you a role. Brother, sure. well, uh, the, it would be a dream. But right now, I'm just happy to like be around. And, it was nice to catch up with Claudia and see her and meet yeah. some of the guys. So, um, yeah, who knows? There's a lot to look forward to, hopefully. so. Great show, isn't it? Oh. Great show. Amazing show. Yeah, it's cool. Two very uh I'm really excited for Claudia. She crushes it on that show as well. She's amazing. Oh, yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Connor here says, Hi Ellie, you did an awesome job. What differences did you find you needed to make on your gaz uh to make it unique from the original? Let's do this. That's from Connor. <laughs> Let's do it. Um thank you. Good question. You know I so when I auditioned for this, for the game originally, um, I didn't know what it was, like most of the other actors, I think. It just came in as a regular audition for something. All the names were different. Yeah. It had this same kind of vibe, but there was nothing to give it away. So um, yeah, I just came in to do that. It wasn't until after I got it and I came in to get scanned that I asked what it was and they told me. Um, so I didn't actually come in with an intention to make it gas or make it different from any uh, from uh, from Craig's gas that he did in the original Modern Warfare. I um yeah, I honestly just with Taylor who directed our, our Modern Warfare in 2019. He really had a vision for who he wanted this this character to be and this voice to be, especially as the voice of the gamer as you're playing. Um, and so I focus more on that. You know, F for me, gas is the character more than any other that really embodies the the modernization and the reboot 
of the franchise and the storytelling and the character perspectives. And so it wasn't at all about trying to draw from somebody else's idea or performance. It was about starting new, you know, and bringing some of the new power and the new fire. And that's something I've really loved about about bringing Gas to life. He's he's kind of being born into the COD universe in 2019 Modern Warfare and we're seeing him grow as we go through. And I'm doing the same thing as an actor with him, like learning about it and seeing the room for development and progression. And, you know, I don't know where that's gonna go, mm. but I have my thoughts and my hopes for what it could do. And, you know, it could be really cool. So it's whatever it will be, whatever it has been, it's meant to be completely new in its own thing. And, uh, you know, I'm really grateful to the guys to, to give me that freedom and that room with it. I know, like slowly through the games, he you know he's a bit of a rookie, and now he's sort of pretty much a pro now. Like he's, yeah, man, you can trust this guy to get anything That's done. Yeah, it. That's it. Yeah, you know, for me, everyone's going to have a different experience, obviously. But for me, that's what I was focused on when we're doing the game. You know, I, I think I, I've said before in an interview I did for this. Mm. Um, for me, Gaz, especially in the beginning, is quite clearly the the robin to price is batman and that's cool yeah, yeah. he's under his ring and he's learning but i see guys becoming his own nightwing and like yeah own shit you know what i mean and so i'm loving this the is, dc references man. yeah listen dude <laughs> listen. but that's how i see it you know yeah. it's this is a progression the the game isn't about him so modern warfare you know it's really we're bringing pri uh we're bringing soap and we're bringing ghost in yeah. we're like getting all that story told too which the guys did an amazing job of but um yeah, there's there's room for him to grow and really come in control of what he wants to do. So, should we see him again in action? Then I would hope for you know something even more further down that road. Keep your questions coming in, guys. I'm seeing a lot of great ones in here. Um, I also I, a lot of people are asking about this helicopter scene in particular um, because they just love it. So, yeah. it, how much of it was mocap and how much of it was done in the booth? From what I've seen, uh, from your memory, answer. you know, yeah, the so everything before the helicopter takes off was performance capture and mm. physical mm. motion capture. So uh, when Gas turns to Nick, he's like, um, "It's green light, green to go, let's go, Nick." That was we did that physically in the studio. Everything after that, everything that's first person view, player view, yeah. that's voice only. Um, yeah. Well, voice only is what's required we added some of the physical stuff in on the yeah. chair to, Correct. you know, give it that feeling. Cause we don't, I mean, you guys will know this, but we don't have traffic available to come through <laughs> and like nearly hit me uh, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. it's really, you know, that's one of the really fun things about this job. And we do a lot for the multiplayer too, is, uh, you oh, know, yeah. imagine things like hanging upside down a truck nearly hitting you. Imagining a grenade exploding behind a door next to you. Imagine like, yeah. walking through to get gas and trying to get your stuff out so yeah it's part of the fun it's part of the play for us how is it when you when you're going onto youtube and you type in gaz voice lines and you just <laughs> listen to all your like all your screaming over and over have you done that have who you seen does that? that i don't know who and puts where do that they together get the footage where do they get i have no from? i can't even get that footage that it's so top secret and then it's just out there um yeah i did <laughs> For, for the one for the one 2019 I did here, it's like a two hour video of just nonstop. And I can't stand with the voice anyway most of the time, but um, you know because we shoot the game um, for about a year and a half, a couple of years on and off. Um, so every few weeks we'll come in and do because they you know the guys write the game as we go along. Yeah. We don't know everything that's going to happen, so it's a long process and we don't remember everything. So to sit and listen to back to back all the work that you did, it blows my mind. I think even even um, the last time I was in to do some of that stuff, it's I think it was 1,007 lines because I remember the 007 part, which you do at least twice all the way through. And that's just for multiplayer, let alone, you know, just doing the campaign scene. So, yeah, it's it's a lot. It's a weird one. It's a, there's a lot about this job that's very weird, but very cool and pretty unique. So you know, I'll take it. And if you want to see Elliot's work, guys, I just uploaded a video, all Gaz cutscenes from Modern Warfare 2019 and two. All right, so you can check it out too, Elliot, if you want. 
if you want yeah, to see your own work. Check out a bunch of your stuff. You kidding? <laughs> I'm in. I'm hitting subscribe. I'm ready. Oh, thank you, mate. Hey, what yeah. about what? What about like with, with the voices? Because you're surrounded by Captain Price. You're surrounded by Ghost. All these guys with these big, thick accents, and then how, how does that work? How do you work around that? It's funny. It's one of the things that we laugh about in there because you know, <laughs> Barry Scouse and doesn't sound anything like Price. Yeah, Chloe is Aussie, and we're all just our energy is so different when we're in there. Um, you know, it's part of what the fun is, and but for me, it's. You know, I think there's a fine line, and Barry's made a good point of saying this too, and we've chatted about it. It's not yeah. about going in and sounding tough and much. Like, that's not the point of it. Yeah. And a lot of the time when you talk to these guys who are actually out there in the field, it's not about how anything looks or how anything sounds. Everyone isn't walking around jacked and can lift a car, you know? It's not about <laughs> that. It's about, like, what's up here is what yeah. makes the team. That's what makes one for one. Um, so with that, for Gaz, the voice I see is like a progression in the same way. In uh, in MW2 this year, it was cool to find more moments when Gaz, in his voice, like he settles down in himself. He's not all the time, but he's a little more relaxed, a little drawn back, a little lower, more grounded, a little deeper, a little thicker, because he's feeling more in control of what he's doing. He's learning. Yeah, I did notice that. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I'm slight, glad, dude. Slight nuance to to the performance, because I played the first one yeah. just, just before the second. I did notice that. Oh, you did it back to back? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How long did that take you? A day to do both. <laughs> wow. I'm a, I'm a freak. I'm a freak. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I played it on easy. So anyway. That's smart. <laughs> See, smart. You be a part of the team. That's what you do. Yeah. No, no, I didn't know. I got to give you kudos, man, because you, you're phenomenal in this one particular. Even, oh, thanks. Bro. And even the first it. one, because I, I really, I, I spoke to this about Barry. I really love the scene with you two in the car. That's always yeah. resonated with me, that that dialogue, the performance there. I mean, I don't know if what, what, what scene of yours is is a favorite, but that's probably up there for me, for sure. No, dude, that's definitely one of them. And that's mm. one that Barry and I talked about too, you know, at the time, getting to rehearse it. And for me, that was the scene that defined what that whole game was about. For the player, for the story, and for Gaz, you know? It's like, we mm. get dirty, the world stays clean. That is the mission. And that whole moment in Gaz's journey through that is, in this new modern warfare, welcome to the world, do you fit into it, you know? He's not solidly a part of it yet. This is him getting his first peek behind the scenes of how Price does it and how One for One does it and how Laswell's task force takes care of business. He's never done that before in our telly. So in that scene, you know, he's seen so much already. That's his first time of really deciding for himself is this too much for me? I'm good at my job, I'm good at what I do, but my idea of justice is very different from what I'm seeing here. And so, yeah, this time, this is after Gaz has decided, all right, I'm in. It's not what I was bargaining for to start with, but I've seen how it works, mm. I see why it's necessary, let's do this, and then we'll see where it goes. I'm looking forward to where it goes, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. Elliot, what was it like working with Brian Bloom? That's from Graves Plays. Legend, legend. <laughs> Cover him in gold. Make a statue. Terrible, uh, terrible writer. I mean, oh, awful. <laughs> <laughs> the worst. Brian yeah. is amazing. He's like he's the pulse of the franchise. You know, at least mm. that's how I, I think of him. He's always there with us when we're in. So passionate, yep. so intelligent about what he's doing. And I've got to say, they care so much. And it's it's such an honor to be a part of any project where the people at the helm of the storytelling care passionately about the detail and the history and the future of the story that you're telling. Um, I don't know how he does it, honestly, but you know, phenomenal writer, phenomenal actor, the most incredible voice I've ever heard. Uh, he's voiced so many things, so many games and animations. Well, that's the thing. And he he's, he's done a COD game. He's been a main character. So that must help you yep. guys as well. Because he's oh, been yeah, in he's your shoes. Cool, yeah. yeah. He really, he's the brain of it, man. He he knows we have any questions, he always has the answer or really helpful information. And I think it's important, like, we want to do the story justice and, uh, you know, the this isn't based on anything real, but for everything that is believable and, you know, a unique detail about the world that we're portraying, 
he's always there to help make sure that we do it right mm. um yeah he's really amazing i'm so happy that he's uh that he's on board and he uh you know that he wrote this one to success again i'm really i'm really proud of him and pleased for those guys and he's doing the future stuff too or you can't say I, I don't, that's above my pay grade. Okay. I can only hope oh, so, yeah. Okay. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't see yeah. why not. I yeah, can I only imagine he'd be too busy, but he loves it <laughs> so much, so hopefully he's not. Hopefully he's a... And, and shout out to Jeff as well, who was... Yes! Yeah, he's a narrative director, is that right? That's right, yeah. that's right. Yeah, he was... And then he was DP when we did uh, Modern Warfare 2019. Same oh, for okay. him. Yeah. Jeff is who is... When the actors are on, on the stage and we're doing the scenes, Jeff is the one who's showing us the blocking they've put together to show us what the movements are like. He will set up the camera and show us around the computer world and see where we are. He directs us, gives us the notes, decides the pace, decides the tone, decides the spacing. Everything that you see, especially the cinematics, and there's a lot of that in this. Can we do in director hands? Such an actor. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of the time, whenever you're seeing, you know, um, even the opening of the campaign when you're you're going with ghosts through the canyon and then you become the missile you see that go mm. all the cinematic shots are decided by jeff and he shoots them real time when we're we're in the studio with him when we're on the stage mm. and he has to have a mind not just for the gameplay but also for the cinematic quality of what the campaign is and you know he's a genius too so i'm not surprised it's done so well those guys have worked tirelessly tirelessly to bring a really great game and yeah you know i think they've done a great job do you do your other friends in the business understand how big this is this project you're a part of is they still don't yes and no yes okay. and no this is the thing when you hear one billion dollars people get it right yeah i get it and that's cool but you know i will say doing performance capture especially for games um it's relatively small compared to the opportunities in TV and film. Um, I think there'll only be more and that's amazing, but it's still very much uh, its own slightly uh, more contained separate industry. Mm -hmm. So it's an amazing experience. I hope every actor gets to have it because um, you do learn so much. It's like doing theater in the round and also doing film at the same time. And there's nothing like that in that hybrid kind of way. But you know, it's, when when we have releases like this and when we have focuses on performance and storytelling like this it can only help to open that world up to more people and uh, hopefully you know this can be a contribution to doing that for people too i love it man i this is a dream job i love acting in general doing it for video games is a dream job i love it i think it, yeah i feel like it has to be i mean it's just yeah. so much fun we've got to try and get you in one Mate, I just want to be a soldier that gets killed, you know? I'm, I'm happy with that. Fine. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, I'll put a word in for you for sure. We'll see what Thanks, happens. Thanks, Elliot. I, look, drink. I'm happy just to go down and have not even a line, just the face, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, even though in the in the first Modern Warfare we did, um, there were a couple times when the guy's like, hey, we need someone. We're going to put a line in here for a different character. Does anyone want to do this? And there is, I do have one line in Modern Warfare 2019 uh, that I do that isn't gas. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, in the first scene when you're playing, um, when you're uh, playing as Alex. Really? Somewhere in there before that mission is done, I voice a character in there. And I was thrilled. <laughs> thrilled! You'd have no idea, but I was thrilled. Yeah, so there's opportunities everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna to have to go back and and hear that one. Now, yeah, but can, can, you can, find it. can you please clear this up? Now, when I announced that I was having you on, the amount of people that said it's gonna be great to have Lewis Hamilton on the show, <laughs> mate, can you just shut them up? It's, <laughs> it's I wear the caps. That's why it's, it's my own fault. I do it to myself. <laughs> It happens with the listen. Oh, there is man. no one that I'd be happier being mistaken for or compared to. He's an absolute <laughs> legend. Um, yeah, uh, and now knighted as well, which good for him. It's amazing. Uh, I'm not Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> Lewis did not voice Gaz or act as Gaz. He's nothing to do with it, unfortunately. Um, Thank but you. you know, if I mess up and then they recast me, I'm sure he'll be first in line. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, I, you know what's funny? I heard he's going into the acting realm. Like he wanted to be in Top Gun Maverick. Oh, amazing. That's right. Yeah, yeah. But imagine if he took your role in a COD movie. <laughs> as I, I would, you know what? Weirder things have happened. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll congratulate him if he does. No, and then no have it's got to be you. Someone after. Uh, do you do you think they'll ever do a COD movie, or do you think is this is this game too much like a movie, where it would feel weird in a way? You know, I think that's the question. Mm. Um, I will say this: we definitely have talked about that. Not that we get to decide, but short answer: if there's enough demand for it, it's going to happen sooner or later. I don't know exactly how or when it might, but I think if it's done right and done well, there's no reason to to not do it, you know? Um, whether it would be a live action or an animation, I don't know. Uh, oh, obviously okay, what- an animated movie. That'd be cool, yeah. It would I, be re- I mean, what we do is for animation, essentially, yeah. the cuts, that's an animated movie, you put them together. Uh, so it, it depends what people would want to see, I guess. For me, I just want to see anything or more. I just want to see more. <laughs> just more content. Yeah, just more, more content. That's it. I'm not Which fussy. They'll probably do everything that they can. At I'm some not point. fussy at all, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but I, I'd love to see it, man. I'd love to see it. You know, any Blur have done amazing things. So you know, animate uh, the a lot of this the stuff for Card and yeah. um, I don't know if you've you've seen any of Love, Death, and Robots. Um, oh wow! Yeah. Before. Test that that I would love to do that, but Blur did an animation in that in the first or second series that was a similar kind of uh, you know, like hard world. Mm. It's like a werewolf one, I think, or something like that, and it gives you a taste of what it could be like. So, you know, let the people decide. Have you put yourself up for any other games at all? Like, are you actively looking to be in more games, or is it just is it just I'd, whatever I'd comes, or what? It's whatever comes, but it's also. Um, like I said, because it's a slightly more contained and, and, and smaller industry in terms yeah. of the opportunity. Games don't really come up as often. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'd am love to do more, but there's so many talented actors who would be so great for, you know, a, a small amount of roles. So I wouldn't want to overstep on my, you know, fair opportunity. But um, a lot of the time it's secret and you don't know. And that's yeah. the thing. You they know, have a code name and there's code names for everything you you don't really know if it's a game or if it's not you don't know when it's happening or where you don't know what it is you don't know if you're going on to say a line or like yeah. be there for two years um but actively wanting to absolutely you know it's it's i'm I'm so happy and thrilled to be a part of this franchise as long as i may be it's it's really cool it's such an honor and i love the world i love i've always been a gamer i think it's so important it's such an important form of storytelling mm. and it's so accessible cross cultures cross languages cross all typical barriers that might separate other media gaming is huge and i don't underestimate the power of it and you know i'd be honored to continue to be a part of it on this side if i can so uh yeah let's just keep making more games and and hopefully expanding this performance capture universe and getting more people involved i saw on one of your instagram posts uh the Homelander actor Anthony Starr, who's who's from New Zealand, actually, he right. um, he said, "Do I, I? I might have to get into this." And now he would be a good, he'd be good in. Uh, he'd be amazing. We yeah. actually we, we did a show together. Uh, oh, you did. We did a show together six years ago. What show? It was this show called American Gothic. Oh, on, of course, uh, yeah, in the states and. He, I mean, he's he's phenomenal. Uh, he's amazing as Homelander. He was great in that too. What's funny is though, uh, the dynamic there is not one I'd ever assume in real life. Where, <laughs> where what is it? I was basically a detective, and he's a suspect. So it's me, like with him across the <laughs> table, grilling him, being like, "Did you do this? What are you saying?" <laughs> like that's not how it would be. Probably is not the Homelander version of it anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's great. You know, I yeah. it would be really cool. I don't know anything. I don't control these things, no, but no, no, no. I, you know, I can I can appreciate how awesome that would be yeah, uh, if yeah. you didn't get into it. I'll work on it. Yeah, work on it. Dog boy, are you ready for Makarov's chaos, Elliot? <laughs> Am I? Well, who's going to be dealing with it? That's the question. 
you know, if that's when Gaz decides to be like, all right, I'm ready, <laughs> step back, <laughs> I guess I'll have to be. Um, it's going to uh, be huge. I, I don't know what's in store. I don't know what the the full plan is, but yeah, man, always ready. We've got to do this. I'm curious, what what's something that surprised you about the experience that that maybe some people would be would be shocked by? I mean, good question. One of the first things was honestly how fun it was and how nice everyone was. Mm. Not that well, how warm everyone was. I think you look at the world and you look at, you know, a lot of the stereotypes or misunderstood notions of what that energy might be. And, you know, it's energy that frankly, someone like myself personally would find very unwelcoming. And it was never the case. Uh, it's always been so much fun. It feels like coming home to family every time we get together. And I'm not just saying that to have a nice thing to say either. It's always a pleasant surprise to come back and be thrilled to not only see each other and work with each other, but be thrilled to work with the people that we get to and how, in a sense, how relaxed the environment is all the time. Um, that's always cool. And then it's always amazing to see how quick the technology progresses. And um, oh, I, know. You know, I was blown away in 2019 when we were seeing the animations of ourselves in character. But then you come to this one and it's just, especially for Gaz too, it's come so far with the detail and with like decreased technology too, but it's more powerful. When, when we did this in 2017, 2018, we had dots all over our faces the whole time. Come to this game, you don't need that anymore. It just fully gets Oh, everything. really? Yeah, That's no gone. Dots. Gone. The dots oh, I didn't are dead. know that. Oh, I know, it's wow. mad. So we're hoping that soon we can lose the arm in front of your face with the cameras on. Yeah, I heard that's a bit jarring. Yeah. You know, it's, to be real, as soon as action happens, for most people, you don't, it just disappears yeah. in your mind. And that's true for me. But physically, it can make some things challenging. You know, you can't get too close to people. Sometimes you get locked and you get stuck. It's a little heavy. The cap's a little tight. A lot of the stuff's quite heavy, actually, but you know, I'm yeah. sh it's going to keep getting better and better, and just make our jobs easier. So, yeah, it's exciting. I know people were a bit perplexed by by that scene, the wet work scene, where you got the goggles and you put them up here in the behind the scenes footage. You don't actually exactly. Put them in. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah, you can't. So when we have, you'll see uh, if you've not seen some of the BTSs on my Instagram, we have the follow the helmet. follow Elliot as well. By the way, guys. Go for it. It's a fun time, is it? You can decide. Um, <laughs> you have the helmet on with the microphones up here, and then you have the camera arm uh, with two LED lights that light you every time uh, mm. we go to action, and then a camera, two wide lens, one up and one down to get your whole face. So any time that we are in the scene, you should, for facial capture, you have to avoid blocking this area. So if we, say in Gilly suits, when we're down there with the snipe, I'm on the ground and I have it and I'm trying to look down the scope. In reality, we can't do yeah. that because it blocks the camera. So you have to do it to the side. Same with the binoculars. It's a little silly, but they adjust it and bring it down when they render everything. I'm just getting the footage up so people can see it. Yeah. Yeah, Man, it's right. Yeah, it's, it's it's weird. It's crazy. The, 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 the nuances that they get from your face and just some of the... Yeah, man. Man. And this is the technology I'm talking about to see get the life in people's eyes, little twitches in someone's face, like a yeah. small lip movement, whatever it is. Not only is it amazing detail to see, but it's amazing for performers to know that they can have the, that nuance of their performance captured. So that's the level of care and dedication and attention to detail that you're able to put into what you do. It's a really exciting opportunity, you know? Mm. It doesn't go to waste. Jet Blue Chess, Elliot, what is the best cutscene you acted in? I'm curious. I, th I think the, I think you get the question. Yeah, what yes. was what? Yeah, good. Ooh, good. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot to choose from. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll go with this game, Modern Warfare Two. With this one in Modern Warfare Two, I yeah. mean, I I, do, I love the scene that I was talking about before, where General Shepard is on the video chat, because it's just such a good tension builder and like a moment of stillness mm. for Price and for Gas, and when you actually see them together as a unit, um, for me. You know, Gaz kind of ends that scene being like, okay, I've understood the job. I know what we have to do. Whereas in the Modern Warfare before this, he probably would have been like, what now, boss? What are we doing? But this time he's leading the charge. Exactly. exactly. That I love. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, I think from 2019, it would be the car scene, your one too. I love that. Um, one of my favorite ones to be in, I didn't say anything, but uh, when the full task force is together with Alejandro and... Um, oh, what a great masks. scene. Everyone around the table, the masks come out. Oh, yeah. Where is a good it? Time. Yeah, I'm getting it up now. Wow. What a scene that yeah, one was. That was pretty iconic. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I mean, any time that we're all together, and that was one of the rare moments, everyone was there in the room. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's pretty badass. Elliot, did you meet Warren Cole? Never. And he's amazing. Really? He's amazing. Yeah, Graves is incredible. He's maybe my favorite uh, new character, you know, in, in this game. He brought such a life to that man in, in the cutscenes that we saw and the levels we saw. Uh, but no, never, never met him in my life. And again, wow. because Gaz is never around when Graves is around in the room. Yeah. So yeah. naturally, I'm never really around um, whenever he would be in. So uh, no, for all I know, he's not even a real person. I've same here seen... same here i've never seen an interview with him i've never oh, seen no. it let's not start a conspiracy i'm sure he's real <laughs> but he, he is a phenomenal actor like he brought he brought an intensity or, or something to that that role and he's a standard yeah, there was a liberty yeah. with what he did man that i just it mm. really it really adds like a great human edge to to that character i have yeah i don't i don't think he's dead quietly all right just between you and me elliot Got it, yeah. I, I think he's still alive. Me too. Uh, <laughs> Tomographic, question for Elliot. How does it feel stepping into Gaz's uniform for the in-real-life promotional material, such as the oh, live-action yeah. trailers? Yeah, how was that? There you go. Good eye. Um, dude, that was awesome. I also think I might be wrong, but I think that's the first time, uh, definitely for Modern Warfare, that the actors actually playing the characters have also got a live action life as well um, for something that, that I'm aware of anyway. Um, it was it was really cool, you know? It was kind of surreal because we're never, we never do that for the game. Mm. We're always in a micro with our dots, you know? Yeah. So to be with all the gear and have everything set up, um, yeah, that was a fun, that was a fun weekend. We went out to the desert and spent a couple days doing all that stuff. I tell you, the trucks get hot when you're in there together. <laughs> yeah, God, yeah, very sweaty. I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's that was at the end of the day to at the end of the weekend. It's like, oh my god, oh. Oh. <laughs> but fun, fun. Oh. I think that's another. I have a clip for that on my uh, on my page too. If anyone wants to check it out, yeah, um, of some of the. Uh, a little BTS I shot. I stuck my phone under the truck we climb out of and, and got a little extra footage. Yeah, it was a good time. You got to keep doing that, man. I love that little behind the scenes. Not many people, it's not many actors do it. I love that you do Dude, that. Dude, you know, I, I did it for this one because I know that it doesn't really happen as much for games as I would like mm. as a gamer. It's so fascinating to see because so much of it is a mystery. And I know the guys are trying to do more of that too, but I rarely... I'm normally taking things of other people and not getting things that I'm in in myself. So I'm trying to be better at that, but I have some more stuff. So, um, yeah, go check it out and I'll, I'll put some more stuff. Oh, up you later. got some more. Cool. 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 Yeah. I have a few more things. I, I put up all the things I have permission to, I'll see what I can figure oh, okay. out. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yep. Hey, I also wanted to mention, um, a really cool little indie film that you were in with, uh, an actor. Some people might know Nick cage. Anyone know him? Uh, Color Out of Space. I, I watched this a, f a few years ago. It was a bit of a mind fuck, if, if I if I recall. <laughs> the tag movie. Yeah. yeah. It, how was that? You shot that in Portugal, right? Yeah, shot that in Portugal, which was gorgeous. Yeah. Um, that was a fun random time, man. That was a fun <laughs> random. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean random? What do you? What, yeah. <laughs> the way that that opportunity just kind of came up out of nowhere. Oh, okay. I, um, yeah. You know, I uh, I was just I was you know asked if I want to be a part of it. I was like, yeah, with Nick Kate. Yes, yes, I would. Thank you. I'll, I'll be doing that. Another legend. Um, such a great guy. I had so much fun working with him. Um, but yeah, that's a good job. I'm watching it. It's a weird one. It's yeah. very weird. It will it mess you up. Yeah, it will mess you up, actually. Yeah, it will. But I don't know if I would watch that for fun if I was nothing to do with it. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> but yeah, it was cool, though. It was cool. And I think... When did we shoot that? I think we shot that in 2019. So that was maybe the so, next thing I did after we'd done the game. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. 2018. 
so for me, it was like nice to have a very different character vibe from something like Gaz I've been doing for a oh, while. Oh yeah, very different. Yeah. Yeah, very in control to just kind of this like weird, nerdy, panicky guy who's <laughs> for some reason alive at the end. Yeah. And you had to get the the American accent out again. I'm That's it. Out. You pop it out every now and then just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Hey, I, I also saw uh, an interview from you for about from about seven or eight years ago, and you mentioned that you'd put your hat in the ring for um, well, you put your hand up for James Bond. Mm. Now, now, would you still do that eight years later? Would you still be keen to play James Bond? Listen, nah, man. Nah, Dan, I, I, probably not. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, I'm over what it. What a terrible question. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry. Don't be oh, sorry. Look, I, um, I have a lot of love for that franchise. <laughs> I grew up with it. And, um, you know, any opportunity to be a part of anything to do with it, I would welcome would be really cool. So, you know see what the future holds yeah did you watch the last one i are you a movie buff at all i'm i'm a huge movie buff you are no yeah, i wouldn't yeah. say movie buff. it's no. a little too close to work for me sometimes so oh, okay me play with, like things removed from that but yes if it's bond i've seen it i did see the last one i loved it so what do you do for fun outside of work because of like what um i mean gaming a lot uh, well, a lot, a lot on and off. Um, I've always played games, um, any kind of like uh, fitness or stuff where I want to try and get back into sports again. Sometimes it's hard to find time when you're moving around so much yeah, with yeah. the COVID of it all the last few years. But um, yeah, I just like being active, getting outside, doing some stuff. Uh, running, hiking, working out, whatever it is. So yeah, I try and do that. But it's not as much watching TV and movies as people would think, or yeah. at least... For me, it's like documentaries and like some random foreign language stuff. Ah, oh, okay. Um, yeah, That's or interesting. writing, directing yeah. things. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, just try and keep a variety, man. Just try and do it. I wish if I could do this, what you do, I would do this, but I can't. <laughs> I haven't. I've got everything saved and ready if I ever want to use it, but I've got to figure it out. Oh, although I tell you one thing I did that I forgot. Last year, I put out. Um, this year, I put out a podcast a few months ago that I worked on for a couple of years, which yeah. that was a lot of work. So I have respect to you for doing what you do because it, 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 it's, it's not easy, is it? Yeah. It's I think not I, easy. Yeah. Because you also got to record as well. <laughs> you know, Dude, and you I, do all the back end and graphics. Yeah, I got and, all yeah. the podcasts I did was me and... Uh, the open uh, up one, podcast for anyone that, that wants to... That's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 the open up. We're just exploring the industry for diverse artists and, you know, sharing some of the behind the scenes of what that's like. And um, yeah, it, it was a lot of work. I'd never done it before. I had to get all this equipment and then I had to learn how to use the equipment. Then we had to organize it all, then record it all, and then edit it all, which I did myself. Oh, did all you? Of that. Wow. Yeah. We paid, Good we idea. got uh, an artist to make some of the assets for us, got some music. I don't know how we did it, honestly. It was exhausting, <laughs> but I think it's because I loved what we were talking about so much and it felt so important that that was the fuel to keep it going. Yeah. And, um, you know, will be the fuel for us to hopefully do a season two, which may become a little YouTube moment. So I might oh, be hitting cool. you. Yeah, we'll awesome. see. We'll see. Yeah. No, please do. And if you ever want to play COD or join yes. me, hit me up as well. We're, we're, yeah, we're... I need someone who's good. So <laughs> I'll give you my handle and then we can do it. Uh, a couple more questions here because I know you've got to run. Uh, Dutch, does Gaz miss the police? <laughs> um you know i think i think he's more than occupied and having enough fun to not really be thinking about the police days too yeah. much a little bit more exciting but he might pop in every now and then and be like right boys see what's going on <laughs> come on guys give us some light-hearted questions before we head off uh top favorite sports elliot oh oh okay good one uh, I've always, well, not lately, but I grew up watching football, real football, soccer football, obviously. Yep. yep. Um, in the UK, uh, biggest sport in the world. Yeah. I was in school too, uh, and I love a little track and field athletics moment. Love it. Love yeah. it. I used to be a triple jumper and a two hundred meter runner, so love watching that stuff. Triple too. jump and a two hundred meter. Okay. I used to be a 
shot putter and a... I knew it was going to be my guest. Yes, shot put yeah. Bill, come on. That's what happens when you're six foot four and over 100 kilos. They, they put you, you in that category every time. Uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, That's amazing. I wish. I probably so, could even pick one. Triple jumping. What's the secret to a, a good triple jumper? And no one knows what it is. It's so funny. Um, <laughs> always, always count your run whenever you're doing that. Make sure you don't just wing it. Figure out what your run is. And uh, so it's about the it, run. The- it's about the run, and it's about keeping your air. Well, what I'm not a pro, but this is what I would do. Um, <laughs> keeping your air throughout each step. Don't rush your hop and your skip. Yeah. For all the aspiring triple jumpers out there, get air, stay streamlined, have a strong hop, a strong <laughs> skip. I really go for that. These are great tips, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) Are you sure you're not a pro? Yeah. Oh, man. Are you sure? I mean, clearly clearly not. Clearly not. I'll see if I can get some triple jumping into uh, the next game. Then you'll know. That would be funny. Uh, Hippo, Elliot, did you party it up in Amsterdam? No. uh, I was exhausted. (laughs) I wish. I wish. We got. No, I, I was there for three nights. Uh, I didn't sleep for any of them, and uh, all I did was go to McDonald's because that's all that was open at 3 a.m. when I couldn't sleep. Um, but What's what your was cool? Order? Was, Which, sorry to cut you off. What's it was your- like fried. Well, I'm vegan, so it really wasn't that much oh, I could okay. do. Yeah. It was there was like one vegan nugget thing I think, and then some fries. Yeah, um, it wasn't great. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I need something. But we did get to all go to the the exact location that the level happens, which was madness to see it. Being there, stood in the spot, walking the actual route that you walk in the game, mm. I can verify it's extremely detailed. It's very accurate. So yeah, and that we're was pretty cool. Playing as guys in that mission too. So that is That's surreal. Right. <laughs> and that is when I got this little my gas cap too. Ah, nice. Downtown Amsterdam. So I'm ready. Nice. Uh just Vincent, question, what does gringo mean, Elliot? Because there was oh, some well. hidden dialogue in that. Do you, do you remember that dialogue? Yeah. That's right. I guess that you didn't, uh, you may not have found it. The answer is embedded in the campaign if you want it. From what I remember, uh, I don't remember exactly what period it was from, but it was basically um, the, I think it was, the, was it the Brits or the Americans coming in were the... Gringo were the home? Brits. Gringo. Yeah, they yeah. were the green, the green ones, and so when they came in, the reply to them was "Greens go home, yeah. green go home, gringo." Yeah, history. Look at that, <laughs> educational and entertainment. And uh, and do you have anything else coming up that you wanted to plug, Elliot? Any other projects or anything? I know it's very um, hush, very hush hush, isn't it? It's all very hush hush, which mm. is not always the most fun thing. No, that's uh, right. But I can say I will have stuff to share, hopefully very soon, and I'll make it very obvious when I do. For now, classified. But Beautiful. yes, Beautiful. watch this space. And anything you wanted to say to the fans that are watching this now, later, in two years' yeah. time? A, two years, seven years, and they're like, Why, what happened to him? Um, <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. This, this game for all of us is so exciting and so incredible to do because of the love and the energy that the fans have for it and have carried for it for generations at this point, you know? And we see that every time when you interact with us, we're always trying to make the best game for you and do the best for these characters that you love so much. So thank you to everyone who's been so welcoming and excited for this telling of Gaz. I love it, it's a dream job. And uh, thank you on behalf of everyone for helping us break some records and, you know, making this the best Call of Duty yet for Modern Warfare. It's, um, I mean, for any Call of Duty, that's pretty huge and we're all a part of it and couldn't do it without you, so thank you. Huge pops to Elliot for smashing the rollers, Gaz. Good work, soldier. Yeah, that's it. Let's get it done, yeah. <laughs> thank Come you, on. man. No, it's been an absolute pleasure to chat with you, man. Thanks for taking the time. I know you're busy. Yeah, brother, I now. loved it. Thank you for thank you for doing this and putting in the time for us to get to chat to people too. It really means a lot. It's the least I could do, man. You guys are phenomenal actors, and um, any way to propel you guys forward, that is all I can do. Um, is there anything Gaz can say to Dan as we wrap this one up? Is there anything you know, Gaz would say to uh, Let's see. Well, he'd definitely say um, thank you for all that you do. We appreciate you being an honorary member of the task force. And uh, I think he'd also say um, 
He'd say, remember, you're not dead if you're hanging from a bloody rope. <laughs> so take that with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate you got it. it brother. Oh, man. Guys, follow <laughs> Elliot on Instagram and anywhere else. Watch out for the podcast as well. On yeah, YouTube. get on the gram and you'll see anything else there. Yeah. If there's anything to say, that's where it will happen. So you'll see it. Beautiful. Thank you, man. Thanks for taking the time. Have a really of course, great appreciate day. You, let's uh, let's link up and I'll I'll drop you my uh, my handle and you can oh, teach yeah. me some. Oh yeah, let's get some W's. Warzone two. Yes, do it. Let's hit the dubs. <laughs> Thanks, man. Take care. Take care. The greatest interviewer of all time. No, he'll know. Just ask him. Just ask him about me. He'll say the right stuff. All right. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks, man. Take care. The greatest interviewer of all time. Dan Allen Gaming. If there's one podcast you want to hear this year, it's Dan Allen Gaming. Dan, we've got a job to do. Mr. Allen, I've been waiting for you, Mr. Dan Allen. Anyone who's anyone has heard of the likes of you. Especially your YouTube channel. It's amazingly entertaining. Good job. This is Geralt of Rivia, and you're watching Dan Allen Gaming. Yeah. This is Agent 47. Subscribe to Dan Allen Gaming. He's a great guy. I always, always knew we were destined for something great to happen. A lot of people want to change their cards, not me. I like the hand we've been dealt. I'm gonna come find you, little man thing. Dan, I knew you'd love me. Come on now, just a little taste. Dan Allen Gaming. He's a lovely boy. <laughs> Super Dan, you number one. Woohoo! This is Colt calling out to Dan the Animal Allen. I'm gonna break this fucking loop. Oh, I'm gonna break your neck. You're watching Dan Allen Gaming, and you're going to regret it. Dan, you and I are gonna take back the universe for humanity. We're having a problem with Metal Gear, and I need your help. So contact me by codec, damn it. Dan Allen, you and I are going dark now. Are you being cheeky, Dan? I'd rather keep this for close encounters. <laughs> Tune into Dan Allen Gaming, or else I'm coming after you. You're fucking down. I've been interviewed by Dan Allen of Dan Allen Gaming. Not to be mistaken for Van Allen. You know the belts? No, not the same guy. Not even related. Okay, Jackie Hour. All the best to you. Just don't cross me. Dan Allen Gaming, you have got to be one of the best things to come out of Australia. Did you know that? You and me, we would have been unstoppable. Anyways, how lost for life, partner? Your face, your ass, what's the difference? It's okay, Dan. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. But you shouldn't have done that. It fucking hurts! Let's find out if Dan Allen Gaming really is the best fucking show in town. Dan! You eat babies! Everybody knows that! Guys, thank you so much for checking out that interview with Elliot. He's an absolute legend. Uh, make sure to go follow him on uh, on Instagram. The link is in the description. Um, give him a follow. Really great chat that one was. Uh, really nice guy. Great insights. Um, you can't ask for much more from, from an actor in a game like this. He was open, honest, fun. Gave, you know, really great answers. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. So tomorrow, <clears throat> a bit earlier tomorrow, we got Barry Sloan on, who's Captain Price. And then hopefully we got Ghost and Soap. And, and then after that, we're heading into 
uh, God of War Ragnarok. So, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Ex Garbett, I love you, brother. I hope you're well. Graves Play, Northern Nerd Cars, Just Vincent, Comstay. Com- I've got to be careful with your name. I've got to be careful. <laughs> That's an interesting name, man. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, imagine if I read out a question with that name. I've got to be careful with you guys. Shit. Uh, J11 Tania adds Windows XP. Okay. Thank you all for stopping by and I will see you tomorrow. Take care, guys.